So we're social butterflies and we're sitting down today with Doug Brochu from Sunny with a Chance. How are you? I'm good. Uh, how are you guys? Good, <laughs> thank you. It's a little early for us, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty early. It's not too early though, it's just early enough. Mm -hmm. It's just early enough that the sun hurts your eyes. <laughs> so, you are on a Disney cruise coming up. We'll talk about it. What are you most excited about on the Disney Cruise Line, and can you explain who's going on it with you? Uh, well, probably the most thing I'm excited about is snorkeling. To be honest, I'm very, I'm very simple that way. As you know, you just give me some snorkel gear, and I'll just be out there all day. You know, so that's probably the most exciting thing in the world. I mean, it's a cruise, so there's like a billion other things I'm excited about, but that's probably the most thing that I'm excited about. And uh, the other people who are going on the cruise is the cast of Sunny, uh, besides Debbie. And then I think there's a few other Disney stars. I was looking at the itinerary and there's something about Corbin. So I think there's a few other um, people that are gonna be on there. I'm just not quite sure that. You made plans to hang out with them? Are you gonna go snorkeling with you? Uh, I'm sure me and Brandon are probably gonna be doing a lot of stuff together. But other than that, I guess we'll just go as it comes along. Have you ever been on a cruise? No. <laughs> Which is why I'm so excited about it because I've never been on a cruise before. And usually when fans of the show, if Sunny with a Chance come up to you, what's the most common question they ask? Uh, what's it like to work with them is probably the biggest question that's asked. You think they're going to ask that a lot on the cruise? Yeah, probably because I mean, that's that's like what the Disney cruise is about. You know? Like going on a cruise with your, you know, favorite Disney stars. So, you know, I'm excited to go meet all the fans and stuff, and I'm sure that question will come up. Well then, what is it like to work with them, eh? <laughs> Well, since you asked that, uh, it's uh, it's just like working with every other 16-year-old girl. She's, she's, you know, she's just Demi. She's not some diva, and she's not, you know, somebody fake. She's just who she is. You go there, and, and I don't know, she's just Demi. People have good days and bad days, and, and she's just a regular person that you know, has worked hard to where she is. And speaking of the people on the show, like Demi and Tiffany and Brandon and all them, we're also learning about the props on the show. Allison was mentioning how you, you would hide gumballs everywhere, and then you have to, to travel with a gnome. Yeah, I actually snuck the gnome out of the uh, out of the, the stage when the night we wrapped. Like, snagged and scampered off of it. So, and, and I know for the people who um, have been looking at that blog, it hasn't been updated in a few months, and that's just because I really haven't gone anywhere. Well, I mean, I've gone places, but it's not like I couldn't take them on with me. Like, I went to Germany, and obviously I can't take a 10-pound, three-foot-tall gnome with me in Germany. I could have, but it would have been complicated. But when we get back from the cruise, I'm going to be visiting my family in New Hampshire for two weeks and I'll be bringing it up with me and taking pictures. So sometime around August, expect a huge update on that blog. And is the gnome going to be back for some season two? Yes, yes, the gnome has to be back. I was told by the the people that the gnome has to be back. Does and the gnome have a name? It's just gnome? I just, we just affectionately call him gnome. <laughs> gnome? It's just a gnome. Very fitting. Gnome. What's a crazy story with you and Ortho? <laughs> I, Brandon is really easily scared. Um, so we did it to him a couple times. And Sterling is scared pretty easily too. So we actually scared him a few times too. But the thing with Sterling is his reflex, he's one of those people that ref reflexively he like goes into the like defensive mode if you scare him. So you're like, ah, whoa, whoa, dude, whoa. So it's, <laughs> It's kind of funny. One time I scared Brandon and he just like took off. So it's it's the good thing about Ortho is you never ex you can never know where he's gonna pop up because you're always looking for the last person you scared to come back to you to scare you. So you're like, alright, I'm gonna open up my dressing room door, there's gonna be this huge scary thing waiting for me. So you just never know. Doesn't it look weird just hauling them around the stage well, everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, but we would do it discreetly. So um, we'd either, if we got there early, 
there'd be like an alliance to something like ortho, or if we were there a little later, or nobody was there, we'd be like, ooh, hey, let's do something for like ortho. So it wouldn't just be like a, just this running During the story. break. Yeah. Speaking of ortho and everything else with some of the chance, what can we have, um, expect from this upcoming season? Do you know anything about it yet? No, I don't really know anything about the new season. I know we're filming, we started filming later in the fall, but other than that, it really hasn't been anything regarding it. How have things changed since Sunny premiered on Disney Channel? Uh -huh. Not really like that. There hasn't been super drastic changes. I mean, there's still definitely changes of people recognizing me and, and a bunch of TV show related things like that, but other than that, not really anything's changed for me. Well then, what's your favorite fan encounter, or most memorable, is what we should say? I actually had a girl, like, it was really, like, kind of awkward. She slapped me on the butt, like, as I was walking away, which is, it just came as a total surprise to me. We were going to the movie premiere, and this you know, this girl was like, oh, hey, you know, come, can I have a hug? Okay, a hug, I love hugs. And then, you know, we were talking, and, and then as I was walking away, she just went, and I was like. Did you turn around? No, but I, I didn't, which is weird. It was one of those things where, I don't know, you're just so shocked that you kind of act in your mind like it didn't happen. You just stop and then yeah, you just Yeah, I was just like, and I just kept walking, and my brother just could not get over it. <laughs> that was the funniest thing in the world. So that's the most memorable fan encounter, I can say. Well, then you get to go to a lot of cool things like movie premieres and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and other than the cruise, what do you think the coolest perk has been so far? The coolest perk, hand down, hands down, hands down, was I got to go to the up premiere, which was so cool because I love Pixar and I love all the movies that they've done. So that was like, like I was like a five-year-old there. You know, they have like this outside before the before the premiere even started. They had like the whole street at the uh, El Capitan just blocked off, and they had like this like little fair going on where you know like how the kid had these badges in the movie. So they would have these stations where you would go like look at these like creatures like giant like spiders or you climb this rock wall for your rock climbing badge. And I was like, <laughs> get all my badges. So that was really cool because, you know, I just love animation. Did you get all the badges? Yes, I did get all the badges, I'll say something. It was fun. I was really sweating because it was really hot, but it was really good. <laughs> Actually this is this red string on my wrist is the knot tying station. Random, I like that story. <laughs> yeah.